Hello everyone, welcome back to SAFC Fans React and today we're going to be talking about the newly released Sunland AFC away kit for the 2022-23 season. So I did a video about two weeks ago uh, when the home kit first got released and it did alright so I thought I'd do another one breaking down the away kit. I don't really like using the term controversy when it comes to like kit releases but I'd say that in a, in a sense, both of Sunland's kit releases have been controversial, so we'll get into all of that in this video. So I think the first thing we should really talk about is the kit itself. It looks like this sky blue Nike kit. Personally, I love it. I think it's great. It's one of the best away kits we've had in a while, but it has sparked a bit of controversy. I'll use that term again. It sparked a bit of that because of the fact that it is a Nike template kit, it is a team wear kit. Now, if you're unaware what team wear means, it basically means it's just a blank kit you can buy from Nike retailers or Sunday League retailers like Pro Direct, Direct Soccer, places like that. And it essentially means that Sunday League teams and youth teams can use the exact same design of the kit just whack their badge on it and all of a sudden it's theirs. And people obviously aren't happy about that because they want bespoke kits, they want ones that are absolutely 100% just authentic and original to their club. Like for instance, the old night kits we got back in the 2000s. And I know people obviously don't like that, but I think personally it doesn't bother me because I think it is a good looking kit. I think it's a gorgeous kit, if I'm honest. Especially in terms of the other two away kits we've got from Nike over the last two years, I think that this is by far the best one we've got. I wasn't a fan of the navy blue one with the red collar. I don't like colors on kits. And the yellow one looked good as a set, but as a standalone shirt was pretty boring in my opinion. That is all subject to opinion. Obviously, you're allowed to disagree. So if you don't like the kit, that's obviously fine. You don't have to buy it. The kit itself was released or announced, should I say, on Friday, a day before our penultimate preseason game against Akron and Stanley, which it obviously debuted in due to kit clash. There was a bit of speculation that we were going to get a light blue kit this season, even though there was no official leak of it, unlike the home shirt. Now, as I just mentioned before, there's some terms where a kit can be nice as just a shirt or nice as just a set. And I think this is one of the cases where I think it, it looks great. Better is just a shirt, but I think overall as a full kit, looks quite nice. When you think of the light blue kits we've had in the past, we've got the 2003 one, the 14 to 15 one, the Adidas one with bid vests and the black pinstripes, and the one from 2017, 20, uh, 2018, sorry, for obviously the Netflix kit as it gets labelled now. The 14 15 one, obviously the 8 0 kit, so there is bad memories in it, and the 2003 one we did get relegated, so there is a bit of a thing of we do tend to do bad in Sky Blue kits, and the 2017 one we got absolutely hammered in the championship, so and there is that thing of are we, are we basically seal our own fate here for the superstitious, of course. You can't get relegated purely off a kit, but there is that thing of we have happened to get relegated more than once in a sky blue kit. I know a lot of you all think I'm just talking nonsense here, but to the superstitious, that is a thing, and I have seen a lot of people say it, but I just thought I'd put that on record. I don't personally think we're going down purely because we've got a sky blue kit. So just like I did with the home kit release, I ran a poll on the Fans React Twitter saying, what does everyone feel? This was about 10, 15 minutes after the kit got released, so this is genuine first impressions. And obviously, as you can see from the poll on your screen right now, people are in favour of it, but there is that kind of thing of, it's it looks nice, but we're not particularly happy about it because it's a template kit. That seems to be the first initial thought of the kit. And to be honest, I get it because if you think about it, Portsmouth's kit is basically the same, just a darker shade of blue. And Duke the Fire is just a template kit. People are going to think that they're getting ripped off, that they're just paying an extra like £25 for the badge and the sponsor alone. So I do get it. And I know I've said that I don't really care about the design, but for the people who are saying, well, it's just a template kit, who cares? Well, just to put it into perspective, this is Portsmouth's home shirt for this season. The blue one, the exact same design as ours on Pro Direct Soccer for £18.36. And if we just quickly look at what Portsmouth's charging, it's 
it's not looking good. And it just makes it even more ridiculous the fact that it's a League One club charging £55 for a template. It's ridiculous. Especially how the kit economy is becoming more expensive by the season. We've gone from paying about 50 quid for a full kit to it's 55 for just the shirt. I mean, for a good few years, we were charging 50 quid for a shirt in League One. So that just goes to show how big of the economy how big the inflation of the kit economy has got to however that all being said there is one slight misconception that i do need to address because i know some people know about it, some people don't so it's good to be educated on that nike obviously gets a lot of stick because they're nike shirts and people are like they're lazy they don't really care about the teams in the lower leagues technically we don't have a Nike sponsorship. And I know you're going to say, like, Dom, you're crazy what you're going on about. We've we've clearly got a Nike kit. Just bear with us a second because it's not a direct thing with Nike. And so for those unaware of what I'm going on about, if you go back to the news article where we announced the partnership with Nike back in 2020, it's through a merger. There is a middleman group in this who makes our kits. And that company goes by the name of Just Sport Pro Club or the Just Sport Group. And basically their job for the last 20 years has been supplying football clubs with big name manufacturers. So that basically just means that there's no direct connection between Sunland and Nike. There is a person in the middle basically going from Sunland, we want a nice kit okay, we'll try and get something with Nike, they put it together, and they basically just whack the Nike badges on them. Hence why there is iron-on badges for this season. And if that all just sounds waffle to you and it's dumb, they're still Nike kits, I don't know what you're talking about, let me just show you this quickly. So here we have Nike's England shirt for the 2018 World Cup, and if you look on the bottom of the shirt, you will find... A little patch that says authentic with a product code and the year it was manufactured showing that it is an official nike licensed product now if i was to get last season's sunland home shirt and look in the exact same place there isn't one there and with these shirts there's been a lot of thing about well they're poorly made because obviously as you can see iron on patches so what i'm trying to tell you here is this this was once a blank white nike t-shirt and they've just whacked red and white stripes on it ironed on a patch and there you have it a sunland shirt and just to prove that that's not just an outdated thing here is a liverpool shirt from the 2020 to 21 season as you can see right there officially licensed nike patch sunland shirt from the exact same season no patch to be seen and that is basically all the concrete evidence you need to say that it's not an official nike product if you go onto the nike store you can't buy sunland shirts from there where you could on the adidas store because it was officially licensed even in league one and we're not the only team in the afl to have this partnership with just sport it's also Pompey, Birmingham, Preston, and I believe formerly Coventry, but I can't back that up. This company has also worked with Hibernian and Aberdeen in the past to make night kits for them. So it's not a coincidence that Preston, Birmingham, Pompey, and Sunderland shirts are all the same. It's because they're made by the exact same group, making for the exact same sports giant. Just Sports job is to make bespoke football kits for these four football teams and to provide them with Nike training gear just with their badge on. That is why all the badges are printed on in that weird 3D iron on. That's why none of our stuff is embroidered with the badges. That's why none of the stuff is 100% authentic. And the last thing, have you ever noticed that the junior and replica shirts on the Sunland Club shop aren't made by Nike and don't have the Nike badge on. Here's a screen grab of a product on the Sunland official website, uh, the store website, sorry, called 2021-22 Replica Home Jersey, charging £36, it's basically for the plus size, so 3XL, 4XL. As you can see, there's no Nike badge on it, and if I just grab the exact same shirt again, the tagging is different. As you can see, there is a Nike badge, there's no Nike badge there. And what's that you spy at the bottom? The authenticity tag. So this is an SAFC licensed product, but not a Nike one. So the fact that there's no Nike on it is because it's not made by Nike. It's manufactured by Avec, which I'm pretty sure 
is bought by Nike, but it's completely different. It's manufactured by Just Sport, who aren't even a manufacturing brand. They just help football clubs find a parent and manufacturer. The plus size kits are the exact same as the normal one. They just don't have the Nike logo on. It's the same shirt, essentially. So for all the people complaining that Nike don't make us good kits, they don't make our kits at all. The articles in which they announced the Nike sponsorship doesn't specify when the deal ends. It just says that it's going to be a multi-year partnership. So we don't know when this uh, manufacturing with Nike or AVEC is going to end. Personally, I would love it to see it end this season and get us Hummel next season because I love Sunderland Hummel kits and I love Hummel kits in particular. And on that bombshell, that is all I've got to talk about in this video. Let us know what you think in the comments below if you want to see a certain person make our kits. If you want Adidas back, be sure to let us know. And just one more thing, Fans React Friday will be returning next week, two days before the start of the championship season. So be sure to check us in, 7 o'clock. Be sure to jump in, say hi, see what we all have to say. So with that, thank you very much for watching this video. If you did like what you see, be sure to like the video and subscribe. It is absolutely free, does not cost a penny. So it would be, it would do a lot for the channel. So we do appreciate all the support that you give us. If it even is just pressing that like button, we we massively appreciate it. So with that, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, take care.